Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Tyrone. Welcome back to the channel, man. Um, I want to take you guys on a little stroll with me while I eat my lunch. And I'm uh, going for a little walk in between clients, getting some sun. So today I want to talk to you guys about the gym and why it's important for you to go to the gym. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you would have seen my stories today when I was talking about how I, I believe that fitness influencers and gym culture these days is very annoying. Now, I don't want to put a negative connotation over people because some people are genuine. Some people are genuinely trying to motivate, trying to, uh, you know, inspire the youth, inspire people, get rid of things like obesity. So I want to give those people their flowers, if that's, one, if that's you. I got nothing against anybody or any community. Um, but pretty much when I was, what I was going over in that video, man, is just how I believe that all these fitness influencers are trying to be the same person. All the trends are the same. All the sounds that they use are the same. Nobody's original. Nobody, you know, it seems like nobody has a thought for themselves. So that's why I make these YouTube videos, man. I try to give you guys a more face to face with me that way you guys can get to know me beyond beyond the gym you know there's so much more to life than the gym anybody can tell you guys how to work out anybody can any trainer can help you burn some calories but the thing with me man is like i try not to identify with things places objects like i'm tyrone that's why if you guys follow me on instagram my Social media handle is literally, I'm Tyrone. Because I am, you know, I'm just a human. I'm, I'm, I'm a soul having a human experience. You know what I'm saying? I don't identify as necessarily a personal trainer. Or I don't identify as a bodybuilder. Like, I'm just me. And that means enough to me. Now, enough about me. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the gym. Now, if it is... If you are a person who lacks purpose, lacks discipline, lacks motivation, lacks the will to get up in the morning, then the gym is perfect for you. I like the gym because what it can do for you as an individual, aside from making you look pretty, making you look sexy. Of course, we all wanna look good. You know, we all say like, I always say I wanna look good naked. Everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants to be pretty. Everybody wants to have the body that they desire. But to me, the gym is, it creates a level of discipline and structure throughout your life. So if you are someone who, like I said, lacks purpose, lacks discipline, lacks the will to live, the will to get better, the will to chase something, the gym is perfect for you. And you need to involve yourself within the culture. So on my story, I didn't want nobody to think that I was being negative. So I want to give you guys a positive, a reason to gym, a reason to work out, a reason to indulge in the fitness community. And like I said, the reason for that is when you develop a level of structure and discipline, if you can control the things like getting up in the morning to go do fast cardio, getting up in the morning to go work out, um, eating five, six meals a day, working towards something that level of discipline and structure is going to translate into the rest of your life aside from you know just looking good it's so much deeper than that there's so much more to life than just looking good like i said of course you want that but that should come second that's what's going to come naturally your body is naturally going to change you will naturally make gains as you be consistent. But the reason to work out, if you're looking for a reason, is to develop some sort of thick skin, some sort of toughness. The society that we live in, man, everybody is fucking soft. Like, dudes are soft. Everybody is caught up in their emotions and caught up in their ego, always getting their feelings hurt. A bunch of suckers. It gives you... A level of thickness when you're just focused on you how often 
throughout your day do you just focus on you? How often are you just being a fucking consumer? I got people on social media, bro, who just constantly watch, watch, watch. Nobody is posting anything. Nobody is selling anything. Nobody is trying to get better. They're just watching what you do. You have consumers and you have producers in this world. I like to think of myself as a producer. Of course, I consume as well, but I consume in a level of gaining knowledge so that I can further produce. How often throughout the day do you do something for you? How often throughout the day do you try and get better at something? Do you take time for yourself? Do you meditate? Do you ask yourself how you're feeling? These are the kind of questions that you should be asking yourself. You know what I'm saying? Going to the gym is an example of self-love. Don't allow the gym to further you down the rabbit hole of having a big-ass ego. Just because you work out, it doesn't mean you're better than anybody. But if you allow that structure and that discipline to translate to the rest of your life, then you will live a better life than 90% of the population. Because people don't do shit these days. People wake up and get on their phones. People wake up and first thing they worry about is focusing on what other people are doing. The first thing that they're focused on is social media. What about you? What about getting up and getting ready for the gym? What about going to do your fasted cardio? What about keeping up on your New Year's resolution? All the shit that you said you were going to do. These are the things that I want you to apply. And these are the reasons why I want y'all to go to the gym. So today, this video is going to be, be titled, Why You Need to Be Going to the Gym. Now, these videos where I create, where I make videos on my phone, you get the least amount of views. And I'm going to title it, like I just said, I'm going to title this video, Why You Should Be Going to the Gym. Videos like this don't get the most attention because people don't want to hold themselves accountable. Where if they were to watch the video, there's a whole lot more to why you should go to the gym. It's not, I'm not some corny influencer. I'm not going to get on here and scream in the phone and say, wake the fuck up, get to the gym. What are you doing? Like, fuck all that, man. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. The way that I think that you truly inspire is you be yourself, the most authentic version of yourself, and people will either love you or hate you. You know, all my life I've experienced that. All my life I've just continuously experienced judgment and people just wanting to know what the fuck I got going on. And... I've always had people love me or hate me. It's never really been an in-between. And I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? So for you guys, I want you guys to develop the same mentality. You know, the same mental toughness and the same thick skin. To just say, fuck them. Fuck what everybody else thinks. Be the best version of you. And if you truly want to inspire, if you truly want to get better, you know what I'm saying? That's the way to do it. And that's my whole purpose of creating this channel. That's my whole purpose to, you know, get on here and talk to you guys is I just want to get, you know, be the best version of myself. But I have down days, man. That's the thing is like on social media, it's everybody's highlights. Bro, there's days where I wake up where I don't want to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be alive and not even on some like crazy shit. But it's just like I wake up and I'm like, I'm not trying to be here. But the thing is is that's real. I'm not the only one with these thoughts. I'm not the only person that feels like this. I'm not the only person that, you know, from day to day feels crazy or feels like they're losing themselves. That's what I want to be for you guys. Like, I just want to be my authentic self. And I want you guys to have someone to relate to and understand that you are not alone. So when it comes to the gym, I'm going to tell you guys to go to the gym because of what it does for your mentality, not because it's going to make you look some type of way. Fuck how you look. How do you feel? Y'all know what I'm saying? I can honestly say, bro, like, the gym changed my life. And it's not the way that I look, but it's the way that it made me feel. And it was a way that I was able to have something to look forward to and have something to strive for. When I found the gym, man, I didn't know what I wanted to do with life. But all I did know at the time was 
shit, I want to get big. I want to get in shape. I want to be the best version of myself every day. Wake up and challenge myself. It had nothing to do with being an influencer or any of this shit. It just had everything to do with, bro, I have no purpose. I'm lacking. I'm, I don't have confidence. I'm doubting myself, bro. I was broke. I was poor. Like, from the projects, it gave me a reason to be better. After that, it created, and this isn't going to happen for everybody, but bro, it gave me a job opportunity. I got so good at training myself, I became a trainer. Now I can teach people to do what I love, what I'm good at. I can coach people to help them feel the same way, give them some sort of reason to get better every single day. Even when you feel like your shitty nine to five is holding you down, even when you feel like you don't have a reason to get up, a reason to get better, at least you can get up in the morning and say like, fuck it, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna challenge myself today. You know, yesterday I did 30 minutes on the stair stepper. Today I'm gonna do 35. Next day I'm gonna do 40. It's a way to get better. You challenge yourself, do the shit that sucks when it comes to life. You know, you take that same, that same mentality of wanting to get better in the gym, of challenging yourself and you apply that to your personal life, you will see tremendous growth. Your whole life can change in a year. Your whole mentality can change in a couple weeks, six months. You can change your life. You are not stuck. And if you are stuck, it's because you're not challenging yourself. Do the shit that sucks. When you're nervous to make a decision, act off that nervousness. See it as energy. When you have self-doubt, see it as energy. Don't see it as you being depressed. Don't see it as anxiety. Don't see it as a reason to not challenge yourself. Remember, the worst place that you can be is the same place this time next year. Wake up and do something that's going to challenge you. Wake up and go do those stairs. Wake up and go lift those weights. So many people don't even fucking eat breakfast in the morning. You know how sorry that shit is? People come to me all the time. I didn't eat this morning. Fucking eat. Take care of yourself. And then you have a shitty workout and you wonder why you feel sick. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. But like I said, you cannot lead a horse to water. I mean, like I said, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Got my my words twisted there. But eventually, man, there's something that there's some sort of hunger, some sort of, you know, something that clicks in you. And I'm not saying wait for it to click, but eventually you get sick of your own shit. You get sick of looking in the mirror and being out of shape. You get sick of looking in the mirror and, you you're, you know, you're not confident in yourself. You get sick of having to, uh, you know, you can't buy those shoes. You can't buy that shirt. You can't do this because you're broke. Eventually, you get sick of it. Eventually, you get sick and tired of your own shit and you're going to want to make a change. But it's better that you make that change today and stop waiting. Because this time next year, you're going to wish that you would have leaped. You were, you're going to wish that you would have jumped, taking that chance on yourself. You have to get better. You have to challenge yourself. This is why you should be working out. This should, is why you should be challenging yourself in the gym every fucking day. Stop waiting for things to come to you. I believe in the power of manifestation. I believe in the power, you know, the law of attraction. But I do understand that things aren't going to just happen by me speaking onto them. You think you can just say I'm going to be a millionaire and that shit not happen? I and mean, that shit happen? You think you can just say I'm going to get my dream body and then you keep eating your fucking potato chips and waking up not doing your fasted cardio? You have to be willing to put in the work towards what it is you, you say. That is what the law of attraction is. You're saying it as if you already have it, but you're also putting the work and acting as if you already have it. Think about the person that you want to be five years from now, financially, spiritually, mentally. What is that person doing on a daily basis to obtain those things? That is the law of attraction. Not saying some shit and then not doing anything and then doing the same shit over and over again. This new age spirituality, a lot of people think they're spiritual and they're really not. I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. Because I see angel numbers, they think they're spiritual. I believe in synchronicities, but not the way these people do. 
You can't keep doing the same shit and expecting different results. You want to make a change in your life? It starts with you. It starts within. It starts with holding yourself accountable. And if you're not going to, then that's okay. But you will forever live in regret. And you will forever be a has-been talking about what you could have done, what you wish you would have done. Take a chance on yourself. Make that leap. Every day is a new opportunity to get better. Get 1% better every day. Stop overwhelming yourself with the idea of being great right away. Bro, anybody that anybody that is an all-time great, a GOAT, at some point in time, they sucked at what it is that they do. And I made a video about that. But you look at Michael Jordan and Kobe, LeBron, all these people, bro, you think they just woke up when we're... Basketball players know, fool. They had to work on that shit. You have to suck at something before you can be great at it. What part of that do you not understand? Seriously, what part of that do you not comprehend? You think you're just going to be great? You think that money's just going to make its way to you? Fuck no. That is not what the law of attraction is. That is not how you manifest. So like I said, man, the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of why you need to hit the gym, why you should be working out daily. This is why. Create structure, discipline, a will to get better. Get better every day. Pick something once a month, once a week, and say, I'm going to get better at this and put the work in. You want bigger legs? Work towards getting bigger legs. Two leg days a week. You want a flatter stomach? Work on some self-control. Stop eating like shit. Do some stairs. Put yourself in a caloric deficit. Stop just talking about it. People pay attention to the things that you do, not always the things that you say. If you're going to get better at something, the work to the game will speak for itself. You want to impress somebody? If you want to win somebody over, bro, become the best version of you. I hope this video makes sense to you guys, man. I hope you guys apply it because I truly do want to see everybody become the best versions of themselves. But it's not going to happen overnight. It takes practice. It takes consistency. It takes discipline. And it takes structure. I hope these videos are helping you guys because speaking to you guys truly does help me. It reminds me that, you know, I'm human too and I make mistakes and I need to get better. And I have so much room for improvement. But you know what? This time last year, I wasn't in the position that I am in today. And that means everything to me. So I'm going to keep getting better. I'm going to keep striving to be better. And I hope you guys do the same. Wake up and do the shit that sucks. Thank you guys for watching, man.